Kate Miller Fulcher to Tony Creates and something a little bit different we're doing patchwork tags today so I got these these um, these uh, little fabric samples at my local at the range and they've been sitting on my desk for a good bit so I thought well let's uh, let's do something with them and of course I have an idea so I have taken some well, first of all I've, this is my 300 GSM linen card that I've just put the tags on because I'm gonna have to cut with the scissors I cannot cut with the uh, guillotine because we're gonna be cutting through fabric so I've just done two of these okay and I've divided I've taken my little squares and I've cut them in half corner to corner so I have little triangles um, I uh, just stuck them under here so that I could find them again so I'll just get them out here so we are gonna just be sticking and I'm using fabric mod podge guys um, for no other reason than I have it you could probably even use glue stick uh, because this is three, uh, three, 300 GSM I will not be um, sewing it because my, uh, my sewing machine doesn't really go through it anywho so we are going to start this so I'm going to just do like a oh this is going to be in the way I just want to kind of see they were all mixed up different patterns let me just move them out the way so I'm just going to randomly pick up from there and put down on that <coughs> on the card oh this mod podge is very thick very thick so let's just take the first one and go like whoops okay now of course I've gone and stretched it oh come on this mod podge and of course now I've got bleed through as well so you know what that means we'll come on the top and do a a layer on the top okay let's just get this down properly because we're doing a a quilt here people so we want it to be to be good so then this one's gonna come like that put it up okay and then we can do the next one let's do flowers and but up there zigzags there we go and uh, let's do this one so the hardest thing about this guys is deciding which one you're gonna put down next because of course there is the perfect one to go next but these are all on the same colorway so it doesn't really matter what I put next to what um, get a bit of grey this is going to bleed through as well um, I suppose you see my, my lovely grey hairs are you we've already, already used that Le we've already used that uh, we haven't used this oh, this th some of them have got glitter on I'm not really a glitter fan but you just uh, work with what you have don't you okay there we go doesn't that look cool guys so how has everybody been thank you so much to I should have written these names down to Lud who's left me a nice message again this week and paper and lace I don't know what your name is um, who else left me a comment P somebody um, stripes we haven't done stripes 
I need to get into the habit because it's so nice just acknowledging my my YouTube buddies right now I think I have one here that is you see it was folded when they cut it so it's not quite a triangle so I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick it in there there we go we can cut the edge off later and then I think I've got a I've got another piece here um, it's the same it's the same one but it's actually it's not waste not want not we might need need that the one thing with fabric is you can manipulate it to fit in your gaps like you want okay next row so getting glue all over my finger now we need to make sure that our our, our bits are the right way around so we want the zigzags going on the zigzags and we want the the um, straight edge going on the straight edge and now I need to now if there are little gaps it's also not a train smash because we can um, we can stick a label over it or put a flower or something sorry this moved out the way so let's get um, let's get stripes get me stripes down here oh, come on. there we go and then let's get a, a plain one so I'm actually sorry I only actually did they have another they had one other color and I didn't get it I should have got it but I didn't have an idea and I thought don't be greedy now and get all of them what you're gonna do with it you know the voice inside your head so I didn't get it and now I'm like you should have got it woman you should have got it okay have we used okay let's use if we're gonna use the let's use the dog actually I want to use this leaf you see what did I tell you the most difficult part is choosing the fabric okay so now these don't line up but it's okay it's okay um, uh, let's get this one hope it hasn't dried already yeah so it's nice I got an extra day off today this week so I was very naughty and I actually took it. <laughs> I know. I've got work to do. I've got lots, lots of work to do, but I took it. It's okay. It's okay. I will get there in the end. Okay. And this one, I love this. These flowers. See, make sure I've got it up, and now we got this this squishy bit here so you know what I'm gonna do I am just going to um, I need to okay you know what I'm gonna do with this I'm actually gonna this is how I cut them in half I just folded them like that but this is of course was folded so I just need a small little triangle so I'm just gonna do it this way unfortunately this is gonna have the same all the way down but the thing is if put this see you now it just looks like blue and gray there that's all right and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just cut these off so I can use them further down see like that 
put these bits over here okay next row we're going a bit skew here this is typical of quilting of uh, patchwork you start all straight you go out one degree and then next thing you know you're um now I'm trying to trying to look trying to look I don't want to put a stripey I don't want to put on one of those next year okay so we're just gonna use a dark one it's in the same position oh it's not going to be on the same tag anyway so I can do that yeah so I'm gonna just try and make this a bit straighter okay <coughs> hope you guys can see let me just shift this all up um, see my my first go to is the polka dots um, let's just stick woman it's not all gonna be on the same tag you don't need to worry so anyway so I have been experiencing some chronic exhaustion over the last couple of days so I've been taking afternoon naps instead of making videos guys so now I'm doing a video at a really odd hour but it has to be done it has to be done so um, yeah so I'll have Fridays I'm going to a conference on Saturday so I've got to get get my because Saturday is my filming day so I'm gonna have to step up a bit this week and it's so it's one of those mad weeks this kids are still off school so of course mom's taxi is full on demand and uh, what can I say I'm a few months away away from them all being um, fully licensed to drive a few months I just have to hold out till then yes sorry oopsie you're also skew okay what are we gonna do okay we're just gonna have to put up with that gap there and know that we are going to be sticking something there when we what well, this one is it actually this this uh that meet that down there okay that okay um, let's do this one so this is such fun guys Well, let's do a stripey one. I kind of like the stripey. Looks like ticking. Ticking. Mattress ticking. Okay, so now we're going to use our bits here. So let's take. Oh, well, that one's got a short edge there, so, but we could do it this way. We could do it this way. And I know it's going a bit long there, but that's okay we can do it like that and then I'm going to do that one because that one might just come over there so now we've got these little bits to do so I'm just thinking see these are all the befolded bits so they're not square is if I'm just gonna cut these off and I'm just gonna chuck them down the side that's all this luck cowhide blue cow hide let's just go like that okay blue cow hide here we come Let's see got bits of fabric in the glue how far is it gonna go that way let's go like this and like that it's just I might have to put glue on the top there and see let's go this way and like that and then we're gonna take 
like these stripes hmm see I want them going so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take one of these squares here take a square like that and I'm just gonna go like I'm just gonna cut, cut this corner off should be there's a nice line there for me to cut and then I'm gonna go like that okay whoops let us just cut this corner off here and then we can put our layer of Mod Podge on top whoops I've cut a dent in that tag I'm just gonna cut this bit off these bits off let's do this side look at that I might be able to get that glue off that's me and glue when I use glue guys whoopsie don't do that might have to just okay this glue is not working here come on okay I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this I'm making a mess here leave that till it's dry hopefully I'll be open to able to open my scissors right I'm gonna take this because I'm ruining the back of my my tags or the front the back front back and get this one it's clean okay so we put you to one side and then I'm gonna go like that and then we're gonna go like that and I'm just gonna get a wee bit of water here on my brush and I'm just gonna come now and hopefully knock back that uh, I'm just gonna get these bits off knock back that uh, the bleed through get some more water it's one thing with this Mod Podge fabric it certainly dries extremely quickly so there we go making sure everything's down flat that's all this would actually make a great journal cover but we're making tags today there anyway it doesn't really matter because like I said guys we are um, we can put a flower or a tag or a word or something over any of our mistakes so and then I will do the same for the black and white and cut them off so what I'm gonna do is should actually gonna take a minute to dry because I really slashed on the water here okay so that's all got a double layer so this has to dry now so I'm gonna once again do this in two takes so be prepared for different lighting different volumes different everything <coughs> that's me that's how I roll and let's see if I can stick this fold down here come on push you down there we go it looks a bit better okay I think everything just trying to get rid of some of these brush strokes okay 
okay i think that's all oh isn't our patchwork gorgeous guys so i'm going to do the same for the black and hopefully it'll be dry enough and then i will cut out these i think i'll cut out these on i mean you've seen people cut tags i have the other side and then i'll cut them out and then we can come back and maybe do a little bit of decorating okay see you just now right folks so i got them all cut up they cut up relatively well um this is what i got from the black and uh, uh um it's not actually what i expected but they're all different so and this is just from one sheet of uh, a4 paper and then the blues i quite like them so they were laid out differently on the card than than these ones so i've got different sizes as well so i just used my um junk journal ideas tag templates to on the back of the card right out draw out the the tag so i fitted them in like this one is actually technically shorter than the actual tag because i had didn't have space but i just fitted a tiny tag on there so there it is folks so i'm quite happy with those um, it is a bit difficult to punch through with this i haven't tried with my um my cropper doll let's have a look and see how there goes the paints flying let's see what the cropper doll says you can go back in there um, let's have a look and see how easy it is let's use a little one oh no that just chows through so it's obviously just my my thing that is is not as sharp okay so how would i decorate these let me see so this is my tray it sits next to my the, my chair by the tv so i used my cricket this last week and i cut out these flowers so i've got that color this color and this color so i might just put one of those on here let me just mind this out the way for now i need to find a place to pack those i don't know where i'm gonna pack them anyway so let's have a look and see i think the the burgundy would look stunning on here just like that netswa okay so if we put it like that let's get some words on it let's uh let's use up our oh where's our forget which drawer it's in no it's the next one okay so we got the black and white let's do the black and white um let's let's do the black one let's just do one little word like that and that's all i'm gonna do folks all i'm gonna do to this tag is this gonna go like that and I'm gonna go like that. Oh, I should have used Fabric Tech. I should have used Fabric Tech. Okay, and then like, oops, this. Whoops. Maybe I left my Fabric Tech open. There we go choose to shine fabric and uh, it actually has a waxy feel from the fabric mod podge or well, that could be from the soap i put on it was the mod podge was a bit sticky so i just took my soap and i i uh, oh let's should we do a you know what i'm going to use for that i'm going to use my sticky smoke Find it, find it, it's here. Oh wait, I've got this one. Hickory, hickory smoke, sooty smoke, hickory smoke folks, hickory smoke. I'll just go and put that on there. Oh look at that, leaving that open again. And then I'm just going to go...
like that so I think I'm going to ink all of these with this color it's a new it's a new sponge so there we go it's not it's not giving up the ink just check where the ink is there we go that's it that's that one so this one um, I think I'm going to use these flowers my uh, my I could do blue on blue we could do green I could do these RT papers actually I think I'll do these we do like that and like that and then do I have any little ones that are like mixed no here's a purple one with like that now these I will actually push down a bit flatter because it's a tag and we wanted to actually get it in the pocket actually let's put it higher up so we can get it in the pocket and then we can put our word our saying down there let's do that folks whoops please stick okay let's just get the glue on here it okay so you can stick and this one we could actually use the lighter she didn't press her luck uh, where am I gonna put that on a journal Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to get this page finished. Her loveliest future. Doesn't make sense, but anyway. Doesn't have to make sense, does it? I'm just going to stick it on there and I'm going to go like this. And I'm not going to put a background on it or anything like that. Because I want the fabric to shine through. I'm just going to go like that and just stick them down. They'll still be a bit sticky up here to think. And then this one I'm going to ink with vintage photo. When you have marks on your thing I've got this eraser so it's got the sandy side and then the normal side and I'll just take the sandy side I think that's actual actual ink it's not fabric on there is that glue or something just come take them off there we go that looks a bit tidier and we can get that done and there we go now I think the next batch I do I'm not going to cut them in half I'm just going to do the little squares and see how that works because I want to make some pockets as well and I think I might do that and just use it use it use it up um, okay now these oh, this is the leftover bits so these will go in the scrapbook to make um, Cory Dahlman strips or clusters or whatever she calls them so and there's something I can start a cluster with that's a piece of cloth like this piece of cloth here yeah, that's left over can actually make it a can do it both ways make it a tag can go like that and make it a tag my st stapler isn't here so you see okay so that's us done with this thing so we've got a uh, couple of tags to go in our arty journals um, that's cute isn't it still not sticking 
Okay, we'll give it a minute. If it doesn't, I'll take it up again and um, do some fabric tack on it because the fabric tack is stuck. Okay, okay, folks. So um, I have no idea when this video is going up, but I will see you soon. Cheerio now.